you know, to be a memorable hockey player, you got to have a lot of firsts. Now, this guy was an original Vancouver Canuck, an original Chicago Cougar, an original WHA skater, and the first person from Lebanon, born in Lebanon, to ever play in the NHL. So we have to be talking to that handsome drink of water, one of the most popular players during his era, Ed Hatoum. Now, Edward Hatoum, born in Beirut, played at the Ford Lines 5'10", 180. <coughs> now, the right winger started his NHL career with Detroit Red Wings after playing several years in the system. He eventually graduated the Vancouver Canucks in her first season in 71, and uh, those years in the NHL led to two campaigns in the WHA. He was original Chicago Cougar in 72-73, and also skated with the Vancouver Blazers of the association. Now, after retiring from hockey and being the player coach of the great Nelson Maple Leafs, Hatoum worked in the auto body business in Ottawa, and more recently, auto wholesale in Vancouver. Never drafted, but he played for a who's who of some of the best uh, hockey teams of his era. Now, he first played in junior hockey in the Ottawa Junior Mountain Gallery in the NHL in 64. With the Red Wings, which was a uh, Hamilton Red Wings, was a Red Wings affiliate, three assists in 17 games in 65. 66, he had 51 points in 48 games, including 16 goals. 67, he had 44 points, including 19 goals in 45 games, 16 points in 17 playoff contests. And his last season of uh, a junior with Hamilton, he had 59 points in 50 games, including 25 goals, with 11 points in 11 playoff contests with six counters. 68, he also saw his first pro action with the Fort Worth Rings, with Fort Worth Wings of the CHL, with one assist in seven playoff contests. Now, 69, he split time between the Fort Worth Wings and Detroit Red Wings. With Detroit, he had two goals and assists in 16 games and 49 points in 53 games uh, with uh, Fort Worth. He also played for Baltimore, uh, Baltimore in a regular season and playoffs. One assist in three games and two points in four playoff contests. 1970, five games with Detroit, two assists. And his last season with Fort Worth in the minor leagues, 55 points in 69 games. Now, 71 was an interesting campaign. He found himself with Vancouver, who had four points in 26 contests, including one goal, but also played with the Seattle Totems of the WHL with 21 points in 29 games. 72, back in the minor leagues with Rochester of the AHL, 32 points in 67 games, including nine goals. Now, 73 split times between, between the totems. We had 37 points in 45 games, 11 goals, and he had two points in 16 games with the Cougars. 74 with the Blazers, he had 15 points in 37 games, including uh, three helpers, and also played with the San Diego Gulls, who had one goal in five games. Now he graduated to Nelson of the WIHL, 75, 78 points in 48 games, going 25 goals. Now, what was interesting too as well, <clears throat> in that campaign, in 75, he was a player head coach. Led them to an 18-34-1 record. 76, three assists in four games. And again, 77 uh, with, uh, with Nelson as well. Season games, seven goals, 19 assists for 26 points and a minuscule 20 to 35 minutes in penalties. He, <clears throat> a very gentlemanly player and a very popular player. <coughs> because the Canadian community in Michigan and Ontario was quite strong. So for him to make the NHL was a very proud moment for uh, for uh, expats from Lebanon and people from Le Lebanon. And again, uh, considered by many in the Toronto media, one of the most handsome players in NHL history. He had movie star looks. Uh, or you would probably give Omar Sharif a run for his money. But a very, very good stay-at-home forward, uh, kind of comparable with a Dougie Jarvis or Bob Ganey. Uh, very surprised the Maple Leafs never took a chance on him, but uh, the WHA was always looking for players with minor league experience to apply that to the major league level. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's been my honor to talk about uh, Ed and his... Uh, 
uh, outstanding legacy as the first Lebanese player in NHL history. If you like what we're doing here with our Hockey History Podcast, let us know with a like, comment, or subscribe. And for the Lebanese community, I've had a lot of friends throughout to the Brunswick Lebanese community. I was told about this player years ago. It's my honor to cover him and the honor to pass on this information on this great Lebanese-Canadian athlete. Thanks for listening. Bye.